up everyone? I am the Kaiju no Kami, and I'm here with... I think you need to tone it down. This is Curly Cocaine. I'm not that damn excited. Evan Nebula. Crystallization Bloodborne. Silver Quill, who nearly got beamed in the head twice in a row from his intros. Whatever. Ah! We're going to be talking about Ryu Soldier, episode 17 to 24. Which we're going to do this more often because I do not want to have to think that far back any longer. Well, we kind of were busy with stuff. People were on vacation or at conventions out of state. Other people were preparing for conventions or sick or haven't got together. Or other people were just ditching because we were ditching. Well, to be fair, we went almost four weeks without watching episodes, too. Yeah. So, chill. Chillax. Are you from 1990? Chillax. Listen, Dame, I don't know where you get this from. But you need to just relax and bug, stop killing the buzz, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you sound I like am not a feminist, but every time you go on this kick, I feel like my feminist points are rising. It's like, I am becoming more and more of a feminist every time I hear the word game. It's frightening me. Oh, she's well, becoming woke. Just be glad. Oh, God. <laughs> Just be glad he's not on a Mega Man kick right now. Do I need to get you the no. X-Series? No, 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 Ooh, no, David, I need no, 11. No, no, oh, okay, no, I can do that. no, no, no. It's been decided. We have come to terms. I thought we were doing other things. Okay, anyway, <laughs> episode 17 was... The Captured Tough Guy. Where, is that the one where Mesosaur gets yeah, kidnapped that's by the villains? Yeah, got kidnapped with, by Wiseord. Wiseord. Why Wizeru? Why Is it like um Zizel, the um sinus medicine? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anything important in the episode happened? Uh, I don't remember anything. I vaguely. Oh, remember is that, that the one where they found? Where they discovered that Mosa was brother yes, was the uh, brother was the burning one. guy. Yep, the burning dinosaur. Okay. Anyone remember anything about that no. episode? No. Outside of the fact that he, um. Pretended to be captured just so he could set up a trap. I remember how ugly the combined mech looked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, next. What? Wow. Wow. Okay, Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next. All right, but yeah, next. Episode. Um, great pinch transformation impossible. This is the episode um where Ko and the Ryusujis confront Minosaur, another Minosaur, together, in the midst of their transformation suddenly getting canceled. Bamba and Canolo come to uh, come into the conflict to ho over the host of a Minosaur, and in doing so, the Minosaur has grown into a colossal oh, size. Oh, that's the wish one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which, because it made no sense, because Canolo is like, I didn't join you guys, and it's like, wait, wait, but you did join them. How, how did you not join them? Because last time you said, okay. Wait, isn't this the one where the host was a rock? That yes. Got, and if you yeah. cut it in two, it do Every time they split the monster, it and split it in the more. My thing on that was, okay, if he can, if uh, Slime Boy can take it up in another object, which I guess he did the treasure chest in episodes before, destroy it to turn, multiply the Minosaurus, why doesn't he take another object Take it to like in a uni his own universe or something, destroy and put it into a hundred pieces. Then you have a hundred dinosaurs running about. Yeah, that makes more. Well, sense. I think because here's the funny thing: if I cut your table in two, do you have two tables now? No. No. But if you cut a rock in two, you have you two, two rocks. rocks. And I was born to rock. Uh, uh, what you need to do now? Roll on away. Roll on away. Actually, I could kind of summarize this song in musical. This show's full of filler, nothing happens every day. <laughs> nothing really matters, because we just say, oh, hooray, it's over. <laughs> so the next episode is Advancing Tyler Amigo. Is that the one where he started to talk and give jokes? Um, this is the one where he hangs out in the school. Oh, the yeah. baseball beginning. Oh, baseball one. The baseball no. beginning. Next. Yeah. Actually, I was I thought this would be like the the baseball episode because mm. going as far back as the original uh, Go Ranger was it? Was the first Sentai? Go Ranger. Go Ranger. They had a baseball episode, mm -hmm. didn't they? And every Sentai since has tried to honor that or at least feature it. This I thought that would be the whole episode. It was just a little bit. See, I did the one thing I really enjoyed about this episode because it was the teacher 
who created the Minosaur. And she and wanted them to have rules. rules. And the fact that even Wizeru, Weisel. Weisel, he even got caught up in the rules and was sent to detention. Yeah, because he had to disguise himself as the kid. As one of the kids in there. And I thought that was hilarious because you have um, the mushroom guy. The mushroom goo slime. Why can't I think of his name also? The kid Kuron? monster or whatever. Creon. Creon. Creon, yeah. And you had him working with the Minosaur to create these rules. And it was just pure happenstance that Weisel got in trouble. The other thing is, I was hoping it would be an episode where Melto could do something because he's gotten shafted in so many episodes episode. for his character development. None of them have gotten character development. Yep. No, I can't agree with that one. I will say the next episode actually has some character yes. development for Toa. No, not 20. Supreme Artist. Yeah. Now this episode, I actually did enjoy many of the elements because the, the Minosaur yeah. was the, um, it was the sketchbook. Yeah, yes. the sketchbook became the Minosaur. Oh, yeah. And, the, and Link had to learn how to not just solely rely on his speed. His name is not Link. The best line in the whole thing. Who I'm being destroyed. Yeah. He's got a green tunic. I'm sorry. It looks, like, it looks like it's out of Twilight Princess. But uh, the other part about this episode, the ends twist with Toa and Karen Gaslog and him having the words of their his and his brother's mentor at the end. I did like the fact that Weisel in the sketchbook drew himself as to be the giant beast and they had a conversation. Yeah. That was I'm funny. like, this is Kaiju no Kami. If he could have an actual conversation with himself, he would be happier well, than anything yes. else. I would like to have intelligent conversation for once. Oh, Marvarin, well, turn this off. You could see the joy as they go, Well done, me. This was a splendid plan. Thank you, me. It's so nice to be appreciated. Which you can feel his pain and sadness when the other guy dies. No, me. I was so young. Yeah, now that was and then the next. What did you think of the episode, though? Well, I, I enjoy an episode where a character is challenged. So Green, I, I can't quite remember his full name. Either. Toa. 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 Link. So having him uh, have to figure out a way was pretty clever. Uh, I'm not really... Okay. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I saw the Super Sentai versus five-parter. Where... Three-parter? Four. Four. Five, four, We just three. averaged it out, I think. <laughs> But that knight's armor set was in it. It was the main... It was the most visual antagonist. You mean Woolzard? Yeah. It was Woolzard 2.0. So seeing it now, it's not like, oh, is this thing going to be a badass or is it dangerous? It's like, no. Green and Black defeated this thing on their first appearance. The badass element is gone. So what do you think, um, Chris Lidge person? <laughs> I'm purposely doing this. It's bl Chris Lidge bl Bloodborne. We, we get names wrong on purpose. Uh, just to it's guys. okay. It's all right. In is her that right, old thing, because I know this is past the Poodle era. So this is all mm -hmm. hard to get, and you're just coming to terms with your colorblindness. It's okay, Kelly. <laughs> okay. That's the one who's colorblind. Yes. Okay, so the next episode is he like... Didn't, he didn't get to give his... Well, visit. I think he was just muttering, so... Oh, Fine. oh, that's how it is. The next one was the two-parter with the dead people coming back. Light and dark. Yep. Kishiru. Totally a missed opportunity for some kid to say, I see dead people. It was a good one. <laughs> and yet this... This was the start of probably the best two episodes yeah. we've seen. The, yeah. these, these were, were hands good. down the best episodes of the entire series. And I had Usagi come back! Well, the, we can't say the entire series because the series is not yeah. done yet. But so far, these have been the two most interesting episodes. And I think the series has only had like four episodes that have had actual plot okay. development. Speaking of Usagi coming back. I love the scene when Kanala like gets down to kiss her, and it goes into a moon, ba a background uh, in space with the moon, on uh, with uh, columns. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was oh. Joey saying, "Hey, we know it's serious." And it's I like enjoyed Asuna's response to Kanala hitting on her mentor. Oi! Although, can I offer a weird bit of timing? Hmm. This two-parter aired right when Common Rider Geo was ending. 
Mm-hmm. They had a magical girl theme in the last episode of Kamen Rider Geo. Oh. I had no idea Darn does that. So, wow, well, that's weird timing. <laughs> I do have to say the one thing that I thought was the most powerful character development for Ui. The only character development for Ui. Yep. Well, her, yeah. Her it, mother? Her mother, because I thought that was so awesome. Because in in Japan, I think the... Well, it feels like every other series, one of the main characters, a parent's dead. It's like Disney. It's yeah. It's pretty apparent. But well, and so... I wonder if, I always wondered in my mind, kind of like the American aspect of when a family member dies, do you have that element of regret? Because you don't see it too much in Japanese culture because it always appears that they have like this reverence. I think that's because of the Shinto background of the country. But when Ui connected with her mom, there was this regret of, I didn't get to do this, I didn't get to do that. It was it was very impactful, and I actually thought that was something different for a Sentai series to actually do that. The monster of this two-parter. I love the design, and then oh. Tank Joe coming back. They did use Tank Joe effectively. Much more effectively than when he was first alive. And even the... Kyrion, was it? Creon. Creon. You did actually feel bad because, one... Creon went, just went through the worst possible boss. It was like beating the life out of him. Uh, that was the the really blunt. The one who smashed into pieces. Yep, and then and then even Weisel was kind of likable as he gives a handkerchief and you can cry this once. <laughs> no, but I don't want that handkerchief back. <laughs> now I don't know enough about the Shinto religion and its views on death or, or the afterlife. I wanted someone to be the advocate for keeping this, that they're tempted. I mean, Red was very briefly tempted by the idea of getting his master back, but he overcame that temptation very quickly. Is that... Because there's sort of this moral question. Okay, first, it's a trade-off. Getting all these loved ones back, and all it costs were some fish. And now, okay, now it's costing a little bit more. Now it's costing a little bit more. Sooner or later, that cost rises to a human life for a human Which life. Which they started to do at the end. They yeah. started to do at the end, and some people would make that choice. Out of grief, out of selfishness, out of a very brutalistic utilitarianism, mm -hmm. they'd advocate for that. No one, no one argued for that because they very quickly swept it under the rug with... Oh, all our souls will be one. And then the revelation of Ui's father being possessed by Seto. Kaiba? <laughs> yeah, that's all I think of. Screw the rules. I have a Shadow Raptor. The shadow, those weapons yeah. are too overpowered. Yeah, and the two new mechs being the... <clears throat> I'm like, I'm, I'm concerned on the uh, Light and Shadow Raptors having the power of a neutron star in a black mm. hole. Yeah. I do like the designs for the upgrade armor with them uh, attached. Well you, well, you know what they say about black hole, black hole powers, though, right? Uh, it sucks. Exactly. Suck. They get me. Suck. <laughs> Suck. 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 Uh, and then the next episode, which was a semi-filler, but had a good concept with the uh We would sulky. know... Because a certain someone kept fast forwarding through the episode. It was a clip show. It doesn't deserve our time. It was a clip I show. I beg to differ because it's just some interesting elements, including this is kind of weird. Right after an episode where they talked about all our souls will be one and it's okay to let go of loved ones, we find out that they are mining the souls of dead dinosaurs. Thank you. It was super flipping dark. I mean, this is this is uh, Eldritch Sentai, <laughs> Love Lovecraft Ranger. And then the and wish the soul uh, that could grant any wish that we find out started the oh, war. Oh, I know. Started the war, and then they don't... It's like right then there, they could have wished for the end of the conflict. Oh, what's that wish soul? You want peace? Okay, bing, I wish for peace. Oh, instead... you so, 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 so that's it for the series. <laughs> yeah. And instead... We don't know where this soul's gone at the end of the episode, but I have a theory. 
that this thing's gonna come back. Oh, it's gonna be back in the last like episode two. It's the- called the Deus Ex Machina. I said that when we well, I used to watch yeah. the episode last week. Because well, ha- because something big will happen. All these people will die, and then that soul will come back, bring everyone back, including the masters, and then the final battle will ensue, and boom. Actually, right now, all I have this image of the wish soul floating past the moon. And then from Portal 2 comes the Space Corps. <laughs> <laughs> but the revelation on how they knew that they were getting tricked when the Soul Gem got stolen because of Melt and Kanalo's sister, because she's calling him Melty now. Boy, that's, that's getting kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. I don't care if she says she's 100 years old. Well, she changed her age twice in this show. Hey, yeah. Because one time it was 115, and then Are you saying that women never lie about their age? Yes, you say you're 27. I yeah. am 27. Well, I guess you're really? the expert on lying. Damn, uh, they always lie. But uh, you can never trust one at any given time, because just when you think that you have trusted them, they do something to prove otherwise. And this is coming from what type of experience? You. Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay, next episode. And then the episode we most watched most recently. <laughs> you mean this week's episode? Yep. Karate. Oh, karate Dojo. Which sounds Which like went a, back to it sounds like a video game that would be in the lollipop chainsaw universe. Or if you want your ultimate games. <laughs> Thank you. I would so play this well, game. Well, it technically was an ultimate type scenario. And okay. all got screwed well, again. Well, hang on, because. When this episode started, I was like, are we watching you, Soldier? Because they had really interesting establishing shots of this festival. <laughs> kind of tilted, <gasps> skewed angles as she's fleeing up the stairs. It looks like a horror movie, almost. I'm like, is this for you, Soldier? This doesn't look like any episode we've seen so far. <laughs> and then it became more the familiar, but I was like, whoa, this is a very yeah, different opening. I thought the opening <laughs> was great, and then it kept on going. Yep. Yeah. And then we have found out completely uh, how gullible Canalo is when it comes to wanting to get laid. I, I forgot in our Zero One review to talk about how amazing the camera work was. Oh, uh, doubt it. There'll be time to talk about it for the second But episode. the camera work in the opening shot for this Ryu Soldier episode with the Tanabata Festival was pretty awesome. I will say Canalo... I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Pretty. He's chasing tail, and that's the only thing. Why do I even think he's chasing thing, tail? The only thing he gets wet is his dinosaur. Oh! Multiple entendre. Wait, wait, but dinosaurs are extinct, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you do know! If you get restricted, whatever, that's all on you, sir! All on you! Well, then, oh, yeah. then should I really talk about how after the wedding fantasy there were fireworks? <laughs> but they were duds. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, but here's the uncomfortable thing. By the end of the episode, like, this girl who's, who's lo- almost lost faith in all humanity, it's like, I can go and fulfill my dream now. What's that? You don't want to take over this dojo? I'm sad now. That, this episode ended... They were trying to be funny, but it was like, no, there's no happy ending to this scenario. <laughs> well, this, like I said, it's one of her ultimate games. This episode was just back to the mediocrity. Unless, of course, they actually have Canolo running the dojo at the start of next episode and henceforth. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. I really... We'll never hear about that dojo again. Probably Okay, not. here's my problem. Probably. My severe, severe problem. James? Well, games are always a problem. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. But um, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if this ends up restricted or demonetized, that's on me? No, I said him, not you. But him. You were thumbing at both of us. I was pointing at him. Even that it's rude like, to point with your thumb. Even that looks like No, I thought it was rude to point with your finger. No, because then you're pointing yourself back three times over. Anyway. Nevertheless, my biggest problem with this series is I championed it. Saying, oh, we should give it a shot. We should be positive. We should be happy go lucky. We should not paint it as this, with the same brush as Lupin versus Potter Ranger. It's going to 
gonna be good. I promise you it's gonna be good. Was I a battered housewife or something? <laughs> Well, I'm not having a bad time watching it. It's no, I'm not having a bad time watching it. I just... Oh, shut up. I just feel really disappointed that... This series has been generic just, mediocrity. Well, it's not really that. I'm used to generic mediocrity. Um, I won't finish that comment because I'll never sleep again. Um, nevertheless, I feel... My frustration is... I wanted a story that kind of, even if not every episode progressed a story, I wanted a story, and I just, I feel like it's not doing much no, of the story. Yeah, no, no. Who's that, that was the a, camera? <laughs> He's in front of you. You're pontificating, and we're watching the cell phone illuminate his face. <laughs> But anyway, I give up. It's, a, it's his blue. You were advocating this series, and it bit you in the ass. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I have Stockholm Syndrome. Ah, I already said that. You have to sit there still. Sit. sit. There. We'll, we, we'll be done in like ten minutes. Okay. And we can have cake. Which probably means about half an hour. But is it wrong to say that Go Kaiger was the last sentence that I felt like it really fleshed out each and every member of the team? And Actually, history? I'd say Go Busters. Go Busters did. No, Go Hydra. No, Go, Bo, but Go Busters came after Go Hydra. Oh, okay, thank okay, you. Okay, but we weren't as enchanted by Go Busters, although we had a friend who was very vocal in his negative view of it while we were watching. Why are they still going? Can we do watch something Yeah, actually, it was kind of funny. Go Busters actually improved for me a bit when I watched it all on my own. <laughs> we bring down... Joger had some good character development, but some of them did lack on that. See, but I... that's really kind of the last sense yeah, I enjoyed. Yeah, but Jewelger also got... was very, very... But boring. it had the carnival mode. It had the... No, that was Kyoger. Okay, Kyoger. Jewelger like. was the animals. Yeah. Um, Minecraft, Sentai, like uh, you call it. Oh, yeah. The world was like the best part. I like Kyoger. Go my shtick. Go Kyoger remains my favorite. Which... The, although the fact that you all introduced me to Sentai on Go Kyoger, I feel like you kind of... Spoiled everything moving forward, so I blame all of you. So I wasn't there enough. I blame you. I blame you especially. <laughs> well, of course. I assume that. Technically, I introduced you on Sentai with the raw as a die ranger. Yeah, but that was a raw deal. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some sushi with that rawness? <laughs> now that's just going in raw. Oh. I like it raw. In, uh, oh my god. Oh my. Well, we're we're right back to to uh, Canelo and uh, his need to get wet. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Mosasaurus. When I think of contact, you might get wet. <laughs> I, I don't I don't remember who it was that posted the comment who said they're enjoying our t discussion of you, soldier, more. Than the actual, the actual show. show and wants us to keep on doing we these. We will continue doing these because, damn it, I am committed. Oh. I have been committed to my relationship for nearly 19 years. I'm going to be committed to this show. Oh, damn. So if you took Canelo's hand and stuck it in water, I'll Oh, sleep. my God! <laughs> Make sure he's asleep and it's warm. Oh. So, uh, Moses is like, Canelo, why are you contacting me? Did I? Oh! Uh, it was... makes me wonder if he really can connect with him anywhere. Well, let's not think about that. Let's just oh, no. not let's... think about that. And let's he go... does just use the tip. Wet dreams. Uh, wet we, dreams. We, we are going down this rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, I think we've hit the rabbit hole. All right. I we're at the halfway the point of the show so far. This is the halfway point? Yes. But not... Okay. <laughs> I, I, mentioned... <laughs> I mentioned this before we even started watching. We've had more than a few episodes now, but I don't feel like the stakes have gotten any higher. No, they haven't. Nope. Nothing's happened. I mean, okay, Gokaiger kept the status quo for a little while, but every power they received was moving them one step closer to their goal. Well, their that's goal. because they received every power before the show even occurred. I'm sorry. If I was given every skill I needed before... Before I even went to college, what would be the point of doing it? Yeah, and with them, the only thing they have to find are the remaining souls of dinosaurs that they have to mine from the ground. Which apparently Which Red, is going to be the dead. Red the can world. apparently now just hear the souls and always has been able to. Yeah. 
so which has not been a factor. But uh, yeah, there's nothing to hint at escalation. Mm -mm. There's nothing that's saying the rest of the world is going down the tubes or that a threat is building. Right now, they've kept things at pretty much the median level. Okay, I will say, though, the one thing I did like in the clip show episode was the... Oh, other, there was something you actually noticed. Was the, the episode, show? was the beginning with Creon. When he's like, this is how many monsters I've sent out. This is how many successes I've had. <laughs> and it's a zero. And although I'd also like Weisel's reaction. Zero, a number I find aesthetically pleasing. Wait, zero? <laughs> <laughs> And I think that's kind of wrapped up the majority of this group's feelings on the show. That's halfway point now. I still love you. I just want oh. more. Hey, I'm the huge scent I fed. How many knives do you think I feel like I'm my back from this franchise? Although, okay, one question for everybody. Uh, we've now had three generals out of, I assume, six in total. We don't know. They're all chess piece themes, so was it only Wait. four? Yeah, they've been a chess piece, a rook. A bishop. Uh, what is we, And we've had... A pawn? So, well, the the foot soldiers are the pawns. Oh, yeah. I yeah, the foot soldiers yeah. are the pawns. I think the then all that's left is a king and a queen, yeah? Yeah. Because so the, knight got, the knight got knocked out really fast. Who's the bishop? Weisel. Weisel, okay. Yeah, Weisel would be the bishop. Or just visit the king and queen right Tank now. Joe would be the, the knight. I thought Tank Joe would be the rook. Rook. Oh, rook. Rook, yeah. The other dude that lasted would be the... Or the knight, the horsey. Technically, Gorn, the uh, knight, would be the uh, seventh real soldier. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but anyway, we've had these several generals. Who's been your favorite? None. I don't like any of them. Well, I guess if I have to pick a fair villain, it'd be Creon. He's I was the gonna say, Creon I just need to give a hug to. He's the only character that villain that has any sort of person. I'm surprised we haven't even gotten a female villain yet. This I is think the Creon I is the female. I, well, actually that was Tank Joe. I, I'm offended by your assumptions. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't had an actual female villain in this show. Which we saw have a king and a queen chess pieces. But enough. usually there's a female villain at early on in the series. True. Actually I'm still wondering since I will go back to having a female villain who looks like a human. I want to know if they're going to go back to actually having a male villain that looks like a human. God, how, when enter. was the last time? Oh, enter? Well, enter for male and female. Oh yeah, enter escape. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. train, yeah, when you said enter for male and female, I'm like, you know the female was escape. Train Boner series. I'm sorry? <laughs> had, oh, Tokuger. Tokuger <laughs> had, had uh, the goth lady. No, male actor. Male actor. Oh, yeah. The main villain was a uh, human. Oh, yes, the, the Emperor. Z. The Lord of Z. Which, there was a snoozer of a show. Do we have any idea of what the next Sentai is going to be? We're not going to know for another few months. Well, yeah, we won't know until October, probably. Yeah. I thought the rumor was that if, if this didn't do well, Sentai might take a hiatus. I don't believe that rumor. It's Sentai. It's tradition. Tell, what did the, did the Japanese <laughs> refuse to break? Tradition. 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 Therefore, tradition. not having another Sentai oh. show means breaking tradition, and they will not do that. Tradition. But they did with Kamen Rider. <coughs> that Kamen was Rider in the also. 80s. Also, Kelly, the Kamen Rider shows during the show era didn't air yearly. Yeah. Thank some God, great. everyone knows what my real name is. They yeah. didn't air the shows yearly like Sentai did after it came back with Battle Fever J. Yeah. Show it, don't tell it. <laughs> Oi. Uh, I know some people said they'd like Metal Heroes back, but at this point, Kamen Rider is Metal Heroes and Kamen Rider combined. It, that's a good point. And, and I don't, they tried to revive Metal Heroes with Gavin, and it I don't just didn't think, work. Well, I don't think there's anything they could do. That's because they had the original Gavin. To revive Metal Heroes anyway, especially if they're not going to go into the more mature, serious tones. I personally think we should all just stop watching to um, Sentai and Kamen Rider and just go to Ultraman the whole time. Ultraman. Which but. I do think we should start reviewing those. Well, and we can't. Why not? As I, did you not hear me earlier? No. Fans of groups have stopped subbing Taiga because Subaraya has announced they will be bringing Taiga to the U.S. next year. Oh, so. Well, god damn you, Subaraya. Why do you have to be efficient? Sorry, it's well, okay. We'll just have to buy We can just race. watch the new Garo show that's coming. Oh, yes. Hot guys. Oh. The arm manly. Sorry, but right now our hands are Taiga. Okay, I think I'm that pun circle has got the video. Good night, everybody!